Hello! I'm back! It's like I keep doing these back-to-back -back Monday videos, but it seems to work for me, so I'm gonna keep doing them. Alright, last week I was talking about my feelings about nude lips. Um, I am not a huge fan of erasing your lip completely and walking around with the, like that concealer look. I just, I mean, please, if that's your thing and you like it, I'm not judging you. I am not judging you. I just prefer to have definition. I like definition on my eyes, my cheekbones. It's just my thing. So I was playing around and I kind of figured out my own nude lip that I can live with. And I'm going to show it to you after I dress myself. I'm wearing one of those like slouchy, look, can you see it? Like slouchy t-shirts, but like things keep falling out. Ouch. I don't have any issues. All right. I'm going to move you closer. Good luck. Hold on. Okay. Here I am. Now, what I think I do differently that makes the nude lip doable for me, let me get my face, my hair out of my face, is um, I use a liner and I use, um, well, I'm going to show you the technique. Let me show you the colors I'm using. I really like this nude. It's Rimmel. And I have to say, YouTube is really what got me started at, at kind of investigating this company, um, you know, as far as a drugstore brand, because a lot of people love it. And I have to say, I've had a lot of good luck with it. I actually enjoy this company a lot. But this is number 250, and it's called Birthday Suit. That's the color. Now, it's not as like concealer nude, you know, or it's something like myth or, you know, it's, it's, it's not nudie, nudie, nude, but it's nude-ish. Does that work? You know what I mean. Okay, so let me tell you what I do. Little tutorial here. I'm gonna use right now, this is a Bobbi Brown lip liner. It's in soft rose. And the first thing I'm gonna do is line. This is gonna be hard because I'm gonna hit the desk. So let me see. All right, I'm gonna line. And for those of you who wanna powder your lip, go a little bit underneath the bottom of your lip. Don't line exactly on top. Don't over over line because it's gonna look phony. You could just do a little bit and it creates a shadow and I'll show you. Okay. All right, so what I did was I added a little extra dip right under here because that creates a shadow. And you can already see my bottom lip looks a little bit poutier and a little bit bigger and fuller, but not phony. So tip number one. Okay, now this is where I get like a little anal or neurotic or whatever. I use a brush now. And this is weird because I use a pencil brush. I don't use a lip brush because I find it's a little too soft for this pr purpose. But what I do is after I put on my lip liner, I smudge and blend. And I bring it into the lip. And I'm not taking it off. I'm just softening. The line a little bit and I'm bringing it in to shade the inner corners and that's gonna add a little bit of dimension to your mouth so I'm leaving that alone because I want that to stay there but the rest I really softened out and honestly I'm gonna take a little bit more this has to be annoying seeing half my face. Okay, I'm gonna take a little more and I'm gonna actually shade inside these little corners here. See? And a little here too. This is really hard to do in, in the camera, so I'm sorry, but Alrighty, I have a little bit of dimension. Sorry, there's a little bit of glitter left off. I wiped my lip gloss off from before, so 
Okay, but you'll get the, the idea. Okay, so that's what I do with my lip liner. And blendy, blendy, blendy. Don't take it all off, just blend it and leave yourself some definition in the corners and that little bit right there. It's gonna give you a nice pouty look. Okay, the next thing I'm gonna do is take my birthday suit by Rimmel. I don't, I'm not gonna use a lip brush. I'm just gonna do it right from the stick. And I'm just gonna, this is so creamy. I really like it. Okay, so you see I kind of have the nude look going, but it's not totally like concealer lip. Do you know what I mean? Okay, and then the last thing that I do is I'm going to take one of my favorite Jordana. You know I told you guys to go. I don't know how you stand looking at half my head. I'm backing up. Okay, um, one of my favorite Jordana lippies. And the color that I grabbed, what did I grab? Sugar cookie, which is one of my favorites. Sugar cookie and vanilla bean. But uh, see what I did? I hate these things, that these twisty up things. That bothers me a lot because I have now have too much product. And I'm going to have to waste it. Okay. And what I'm going to do with my sugar cookie is I'm just going to shine out the center. And that, my lovelies, is going to give you a fuller, pouty, sexy, nude lip. At least I think. Maybe not on me. Let's not forget I'm 41. My lips ain't what they used to be, baby. I was actually, it's really depressing because my dad has these gorgeous, like, Angelina lips. And I had them for a while, and I think as I got older, I'm losing a little bit of the collagen in my lips. And it makes me sad. But... It is what it is, right? So anyway, can you see that they have definition, but they still have a kind of a nude look to them. And that's about as far as I like to take nude, nude, nude lips. I actually had the same problem when I was using the um, Gaga from the Viva Glam collection, because I always buy Viva Glam, by the way, even if I don't like the colors. Because again, I'll probably use them on somebody, but also all of the proceeds go to AIDS funding and research. And um, I think that's very, very important. So I, I always buy them. So I bought the Gaga and I had a hard time with it at first. You know, everyone's like, it's not wearable. And I'm like, yes it is. And I'm gonna make sure that I make it wearable. And I scared a few people, just like I probably scared you. And I did the same thing. I just worked with it and put a little gloss and added a little lip liner dimension. And Now, this was a really quickie tutorial, you know, and so, it, you know, it didn't give you the full effect. But, you know, if you live near me, come over and I'll do it for you. And look, I'm half naked. Look what my shirt just did. What up with that? I should be dressing my age. No, I'm never going to do that. Listen, if I could stay... The size that I am at this age after two kids. I'm going to show a little skin, baby. No? If that's a no, maybe you should tell me in the comments. Maybe you should say, listen, um, at your age, crazy woman. Okay. Nine o'clock. I mean, nine o'clock. Nine minutes and five seconds in, and I'm done. My brother walked in, and he is staring at me, pointing at something. He's coming in. Something, Quick, because we're at 9.15. What do you Billy's, have? Some kind of special French <gasps> toast. Oh, a French toast from Billy's Downtown Diner. Oh, my gosh. There's fruit. There's cinnamon. There's... Bah! Delish. All right. I'm going. I hope this helped you a little bit. If you have any questions at all, please message me. Leave me a comment. You can ask some of my subbies. They will tell you. I will help you. I will answer you. You are all extremely important to me, really. And I'm over 200 subscribers, which is so exciting. And I'm going to have a contest because I'm definitely giving away the Faith Mountain Farm. And I have a um, this giant, um, like, flower crystal ring with, like, 
Kubrick Zirconia in it and stuff that I want to give away. I have so much stuff to do, so I'm going to be back, and I'll see you later. Mwah. Love ya.